everybody, welcome back to the channel. I, I'm Lordy, and um, uh, today I'm just going to basically break down my review of BD Performance. Um, I got back late last night after spending two days with Darren and his team down there, and um, the guys were absolutely fantastic. Um, BD Performance is a great setup in terms of uh, the space they have. Uh, the quality of um, their experience and um, happy to listen to all of your issues and work out what the best solution is for you. Um, you know, finding a good a good team to deal with your car is very difficult. Um, I think also having the understanding of these cars, uh, STs and RSs, um, they've got a wealth of knowledge and um, I would recommend them absolutely uh, for the bottom of my heart uh, if you need something uh, done and um, even if you just want to park you know obviously they've got a massive amount of uh, options online for uh, parts for for the cars that we we uh, we use so um, if you do need a part hop online to their website and um, have a look through their lists um, you'll find um, a, a great selection of different bits and pieces um, to obviously purchase and um, if you've got an opportunity to go down there I would suggest booking yourself in heading down there um, and get your work done by these guys uh, absolute professionals and um, a massive thank you to them and the team um, so what I wanted to talk about today was basically uh, what we did um, I do have a full review video of what went on um, down at BD performance um, which will hit on the channel very soon and um, we just need to do a bit of editing on that but um, for the moment what I wanted to talk about was some of the bits that we we did and what we didn't do um, so I went down there with a, a list of items um, essentially we did a block mod which we did go ahead with and do um, the reason for that was I had uh, my can belt was basically it was due I mean we're at 88,000 miles now um, and I thought it was a, definitely an essential idea uh, or so, so, you know, essential to get the cam belt done. Um, so with that, it made sense to do a block mod at the same time, do the cam belt, the tensioners, um, get all the belts replaced and um, do the water pump at the same time. Um, the nice thing was seeing the process, taking the head off, having a look inside, um, everything looked good. Um, nothing looked like it expanded, um, so the shims on the block mod could go in quite easily. Um, again, you'll see some of that on the on the main video that I'll, I'll post a bit later, um, and that was really interesting to see. You know, a lot of garages might go ahead and do these types of things, and you don't get to see what's going on with your car. Um, I like the fact that it all gets cleaned, the head gets cleaned. Um, and there's a full process behind it. It's not just, let's get the head off, replace the gasket, put the shims in, put the head back on. You know, there's some care and detail um, that is taken uh, with these guys. So again, recommend getting down there. If you're gonna, gonna do a block mod, then that's something I would suggest going down to them guys um, and getting that done. Um, so we did that and um, I already purchased some Bilstein B8 shocks. Um, I'm sitting on lowered springs, uh, H and R lowered springs. So, and on just standard ST suspension, um, it was causing me an issue. I think the ride was getting a lot worse as I progressed over the months, um, and I wanted a suspension that would complement those springs, um, or just a lowered spring in general. So the B8s, um, a German manufacturer, and are a quality product. Um, the ride home was wicked. Um, it's made such a difference. You get a really nice uh, ride, uh, a nice bounce as you go along. You know, you can feel the stiffness, you feel them working uh, correctly. Um, and um, with that as well, because I did have a steering issue, um, it could have been compounded by the shocks. Uh, we were look, looking at top mounts and bushes. So we did poly bush um as well which i have to say uh cornering was phenomenal on the way home it was just like bam you know it was it was wicked so and um, that's something else that's worth definitely doing um i think what i would probably do i'm probably going to look at doing some more bushes 
um, at some point as well. So, um, so we did that. That was uh, that was good. That's sorted out the steering for me. Um, we got the shocks in. Um, we then we were going to do a gearbox. Basically, we were going to change the gearbox. I've been having problems with the gearbox for a while. Um, we were talking about the the, the possibility that it was the slave cylinder change when we did the um, RS clutch. Um, who knows? Uh, hopefully it was because um, that could cause some of the issues uh, getting it into gear. Um, so what we did is we flushed the system, um, the hydraulic system um, for the, the uh, clutch and the brakes. Um, and that seems to have sorted things out. Um, it does feel a lot smoother, a lot better. Um, it's saved, obviously, taken out a full box. Um, and with that, basically, I put uh, that expense that I was going to do into something else. And what we did is we worked out a deal on uh, an exhaust uh, catback system. Um, and um, so... I came away with basically a mongoose uh, cat back. Um, this is the one with the big box, not the two uh, single boxes at the back with a big box. Um, there was a couple of other options as well that I could have put on, but I wasn't looking for something loud. Um, that's not essentially really what I'm into. Um, I do a lot of motorway driving. I drive this as my daily, so I go to work and back and having something crazy loud uh, for me, just wasn't going to be at work, um, so this was a great option. It also complements um, the fact that I've got a sports cat on this with a Miltec downpipe, um, and it sounds wicked. Um, I had a D-Res pipe, so I had original um, exhaust system with uh, just a D-Res, and to be fair, that sounded pretty sharp uh, anyway, um, but it was a little bit tinny, and um, so this is just complemented the whole system now you know i've got a full system on the car uh the steering sorted we've got great shocks um so the ride is is sitting well and we've done a block mod to a bit of security in terms of the engine and now i've got a new cam belt water pump um so i'm very pleased with what we've did over the weekend uh or, or basically over thursday and friday um and so what I'm going to do is give you a cold start now of uh, the new exhaust uh, cat back. And um, hopefully, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, share if you can. Obviously, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And um, I'll leave it there and look out for the new video, which is about to drop in uh later on today or certainly by tomorrow so listen i appreciate all your time i appreciate you subscribing and thank you so much i'll catch you in a few